Disclaimer, crypto investments are highly speculative and involve significant risk of loss. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Always do your own research and invest wisely. Why EOS ProFi could dominate the future of DeFi. Days go by and the entire blockchain ecosphere makes new all-time highs and is then usually followed by a market retracement. Yet despite how often things may change, in many areas they remain the same, in particularly in the areas of regulatory uncertainty. In this article I intend to go over how EOS ProFi could be the most dominant use case for the decentralized finance crypto ecosphere. Okay now let's get started. First off, we will start by defining what exactly is ProFi. For those of you that are unaware ProFi stands for, Open Source Programmable Finance. I believe this was a phrase coined by Brandon Bloomer. ProFi differentiates itself from CeFi and DeFi, by arguably having the potential benefits of both without the disadvantages. Brendan Bloomer, a few months ago took to Twitter, to share a Twitter thread about the importance of compliance and regulation in the crypto space. In one of his tweets, he mentions that, in the future, ProFi could dominate the crypto market, and that his company Block1, believes in a mutually beneficial integration, of traditional and non-traditional finance, of the future crypto ecosystems, which was in response to Eric Schmidt, who tweeted that, he believes that recent US regulatory requirements are inefficient and pose a challenge to mainstream capital, seeking to enter the DeFi space. Brendan Bloomer posted a tweet commenting on Schmidt's remarks about the importance of compliance, regulation, and crypto ecosystems for the future of the financial industry. DeFi in particularly is revolutionary for the moment, but he also expects ProFi, open source programmable finance, to dominate the market in the future as the perfect descendant of DeFi, with competitors like Binance Chain, Ethereum DeFi, and Ripple CeFi. Bloomer sees ProFi as the perfect way to pave the way for established cryptocurrencies. He added that the ecosystem is making rapid progress in regulation, but there is still much to do to protect the community when it comes to regulation and compliance. Incorporating compliance measures for companies is expensive and time-consuming, and meeting just the basic requirements of professional service standards and regulations can cost companies potentially millions. Some crypto enterprises believe that companies that are willing to play by the rules are playing the long game, while others see them as slow workers, Bloomer wrote, drawing a line between the two different business approaches and suggesting that the first, more difficult strategy is being pursued. Though in my opinion, regardless of how you feel about crypto enterprising companies, in their approach to business, ultimately it all comes down to, the regulators are coming into the crypto space, and as a result there will be some need for regulatory compliance, but how much easier would being compliant be, if that regulatory compliance was integrated, within the very fabric of the programmable crypto models, that many of these companies hope to integrate into their various businesses and services in future. Thus, ProFi more than likely will be such a significant player in future, because ProFi potentially does just that. Imagine if you will, hypothetically speaking, if there was a major Fortune 500 institutional financial company that was looking to fully utilize some of the more unique services within the crypto decentralized financial space, one option that this company would be presented with is of course CeFi services, and for those of you that are unaware, CeFi stands for Centralized Finance, which is usually referring to crypto companies that deal with cryptocurrencies investment services, but operate in a traditional centralized fashion which of course is not much different from trusted third-party custodian options, that said institution is already accustomed to dealing with, which brings no real benefits other than being a new investment in a fast-growing industry. This model would be fine for institutions that were only looking to benefit from price speculation and did not want to have custodianship over their on crypto holdings. But of course, the downside is this comes with the counterparty risk that this hypothetical institution would still have to deal with the third-party custodian problem, and everything that comes with it. The second option would be of course DeFi, which stands for Decentralized Finance. DeFi is a significant step forward in the right direction, and offers unique benefits for individuals that want to hold more direct access to their crypto holdings, but the regulatory nightmare of tax compliance, combined with the significant learning hurdle, of properly safeguarding company crypto assets and holdings, is not a small thing. After all, if one mistake is made, or an untrustworthy employee happens to get his or her hands on private keys, 
I'm sure I don't have to tell you, what a significant setback this would be for the company in question, DeFi is a good choice for a certain type, of individual crypto holder, who do not mind taking responsibility for any malfeasance that occur under their watch, on the other side of things, this is not something that a traditional financial institution could even attempt, while within the current regulatory environment of their unique industries, and last but not least the third option, that is of course ProFi, ProFi potentially can offer the regulatory compliance of a crypto fully compliant CFI company, but also it can potentially allow for tailored made solutions that can allow said hypothetical companies in future to pick and choose their level of compliance risk, instead of providing just a one size fits all solution, it focuses on being more adoptable to whatever the business regulatory needs may be, while still retaining, the highly desirable option of a company being their own custodian, while allowing the company to hypothetically, limit their custodian risk, much of this is still hypothetical of course, since we have not yet seen a fully rolled and flushed out ProFi product yet, but if this ProFi product that Block1 is working on, is half as good as it promises to be, then I believe that this will shake up the entire decentralized finance crypto space, in a way that most of us could not have anticipated, which I don't have to tell you this promises to be very bullish for the future of EOS mainnet in particularly, to all EOS holders, the age of ProFi is coming. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please donate, and if you would like to read, listen to, or watch more of this kind of content, please visit us at www.cryptoapologetics.com. See you next time, take care.